Well, both presidential candidates have some high-profile names on the campaign trail tonight. And with just five days until Election Day, both sides are doing everything they can to bring in the votes. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. President Obama holding nothing back on the campaign trail as one of Hillary Clinton's strongest surrogates. He spent a lot of time with celebrities, spends a lot of time hanging out with the really wealthy folk, but you don't see him hanging out with working people unless they're cleaning his room. Clinton in North Carolina, a must-win state for her to reach the needed 270 electoral votes. His instinct is to say whatever pops into his head, no matter how wrong he is, he can't help himself. So is this someone we want to put in charge of our military? Donald Trump got some help on the trail today. In Iowa, Senator Ted Cruz stumped with VP nominee Mike Pence, but never mentioned the top of the ticket in his remarks. And a rare speech by Mrs. Trump in Pennsylvania. The hope? Reaching more suburban women voters. He certainly knows how to shake things up, doesn't he? <laughs> While the Republican nominee once again went after Clinton in Florida over her emails. The investigation is described as a high priority. It was reported that an avalanche of information is coming in. Hillary Clinton will make her final pitch to voters Monday night in Philadelphia with the president and first lady by her side. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News. And we just got the results of a new poll in the critical swing state of Florida. An opinion-savvy poll shows Clinton with 49 percent, Donald Trump with 45 percent. The margin of error is 4 percent. Three percent of people are still undecided there. Fox 5 political analyst Matt Towery says even though Trump hasn't had as much party support in Florida as Clinton, it could still be a close race in that state. I think what we're seeing are the number of TV ads. I mean, we are seeing massive numbers of negative TV ads against Donald Trump, and he really hasn't been answering them uh, ad for ad. And then you've had these surrogates coming in, such as the president, the vice president. These are big names. The Trump surrogates really haven't been appearing. It's been Donald Trump having to do it all by himself. Maybe that's why right now we're seeing it not quite as strong in Florida as we thought. I still think that Trump will have a very close race. I'm even leaning towards the idea that he could win Florida. But this poll doesn't suggest it at this moment. Towery also says that he believes Trump will win Florida, as you just heard, because there's a strong Republican turnout in that state. But he says that Trump needs more people campaigning for him across the Sunshine State. Sine.